This is my restaurant software, programmed in Excel, that turns a touchscreen computer into a cash register. Gives receipt with item on it, price and tax. Has screen for cook as orders come in, and all data goes into a database for readings and data mining. The cash register may be able to be operated remotely by a waitress using iPad on Wi-Fi taking orders. The first thing you need to do is just below the bottom of the screen is put in sales tax. Then you put in the name of the item, price, by button. Let me enlarge this so we can see what I'm doing. First we'll go down and put sales tax Go back up and put an item in. And we'll put in the price. Okay, then we'll press the button and this puts it on the menu. The red takes it off, the, the blue puts it on. So if you change your mind, you can take it back off of the red. So I'll press the blue button. Puts it on the cash register menu. One hamburger, 350. Tax and uh, total. Okay, let me go back to the regular screen. I'm going to press <coughs> the total button. Okay, that, that put it on sheet two. The hamburger, the price, the tax, the total. And it put it also on sheet three. The hamburger, the price, uh, subtotal tax and uh, total. That's what the receipt uh, it prints. Okay, now we're going to connect the database. Go to sheet 2. And uh, we have uh, uh, items up to H. So I go down below, just as an example. You got to go a lot further. You got to go all the way to the bottom. We're just going to go right here to let's say 100. I'm going to put letters in all the on all the rows. Up to H. That's all we have. Okay, we'll go back up to the top. So when we uh, 
we, what we're going if we were gonna just export the data, that'd be no problem. But we're gonna link the data. So when you link it and you want to keep operating, the file gets bigger. So you can't let that happen. You have to have the file already big. So those letters I put at 100, they should go at the very bottom of your database. I mean, at the uh, bottom of your sheet. Okay. So let's go over to Access. I've already saved that Excel file to the computer, so I know the file name. I want a blank database. Database file B5. Okay, we want uh, external data. We want Excel, import, and link. We want to click on link data source by creating link table. And you browse up here and, and get the file. And then we go next. Okay. Then we select sheet two. Show worksheet and uh, select sheet two. Click next. And first row columns headings. Click that. <clears throat> I already have the headings there. Order amount, items, cost, subtotal, tax total. So oh, it's already on the top of sheet two. They're going to call this uh, number uh, link table sheet two. That's fine with me. Finish. It's been created. Okay. Okay, so I click over here on sheet two. Okay, it, it's brought in my data from uh, the first Hamburger I sold. Okay, let's go back to Excel. Go back to sheet one. Let's ring up two hamburgers. Put it twice. And then press total. Okay, let's go to uh, sheet two. See that put this the two hamburgers is a, a next order and the total and the tax and everything. Okay, let's go to our access table, access database. And it should show up here in a minute. <coughs> There it is. Two hamburgers, seven bucks, tax, total, and everything. So everything's going as you're uh, uh, running your cash register. Everything's it's linked to the uh, database, and everything's going into the database. So this is how to use the Access database to for a cook screen. So the cook has a separate computer, and the Access is the main cash register computer. And he looks at your uh, uh, access. And what he does is, when the orders, like the orders are already up there, we put them to the very top of the screen. So there's no orders on this screen anymore. So we move down where there's there's no orders. Now we're going to go over here to cash register. We'll ring up three. Three hamburgers. Total 
little bit. We'll go look at sheet two. The three hamburgers have been put on sheet two. And then we'll go to the access database. And then the new the three hamburgers show up on the on the access. So he makes those hamburgers, then he uh rolls the screen down so those those hamburgers don't show anymore. So as soon as the order comes up, he sees it on the screen. And then when he makes it he rolls the screen up. Okay, now we're gonna uh change the print code. First we're gonna go to sheet three The reason that every printer is different and it has different codes, so you have to uh, find out what printer code your printer uses to print and put it in the software. So we're going to put the ribbon back. We're going to go to View. We're going to go to Micros and Record Micro. It's Micro 163. We go to File, Print, and we print. Then we stop recording. We go to Micros, View Micro, 163, click on 163, step into, I must have double clicked. I copy the code and then I close the window, go to micros, view micros, go to 700, Step in two. Go to the bottom of 700. At the bottom of 700, I have a line of stars. That's uh, just after the print, where the print code is supposed to go. There's 1,300 pages everywhere. Here we are right here. <coughs> this is the second line of stars. Okay, now I'm going to... I'm going to put this code in here, and you'll see it's exactly like the code I already have. But in your case, you may not be. See, it's exactly like the code I already have. Because I've already changed the code. That's where it goes. Right, right before the stars. Right after sheets. Three. Select. Uh, on the micro 700. You put you... 
recorded that uh, micro, and that's where you put this the uh, code. And you close it up, and when you print, when this computer, uh, at, when you total it, you'll print that receipt.